History of Textiles Early humans, who lived years ago used to cover their bodies by wrapping tree leaves, woven grass or tree barks, bones, skull and the skin of dead animals, to protect themselves from cold weather, rain, and other natural disasters. Spinning and weaving are among the earliest arts. In the twisting of fibers, hairs, and grasses by sinews, rolling them between the thumb and fingers, palms of the hands, we have the original of the spinning wheel. The hand-operated spindle and the loom were the most important tools for the production of textiles. The material used was wool. The very primitive type of spinning, where no spindle was used, was to fasten the strands of goat's hair or wool to a stone which was twirled round until the yarn was sufficiently twisted when it was wound upon the stone and the process repeated over and over. The need of securing things or otherwise strengthening them then led to binding, fastening, and sewing. When fabrics replaced the animal skins of the earliest men, textiles became a main factor in economic history. Weaving is an art practiced by tribes. The art is but a development of mat making and basketry, using threads formed or made by spinning in place of coarser filaments. The spinning and weaving processes changed considerably at the end of the first millennium. Yarn spinning was mainly a women's chore whereas weaving was a craft for men and already highly specialized with silk, wool, and linen weavers. The invention of the flying shuttle by John Kay in 1733 doubled the productivity of a loom and led to a sharp increase in yarn demand, yarn hunger. This in turn led to further developments in mechanized yarn spinning. The newly introduced steam engine quickly led to the establishment of large textile mills suitable for mass production. This was the start of a new era, today known as industrialization. For the next 180 years, development was continuous. An innovative peak was reached in the 1960s with the introduction of non-conventional spinning techniques and a weaving loom without shuttles. With these new techniques, production could be increased almost fivefold, while the need for manpower was reduced drastically. The introduction of non-conventional spinning technologies in the 1970s, such as open-end rotor and friction spinning and air jet spinning in recent years, led to a 10 to 15-fold increase in yarn production speed over the last few decades. The post-industrialization era witnessed continuous improvement and innovation in textile raw materials, machinery, and processes. Around the middle of the 20th century, significant developments in raw materials like manufacturing of polyamides, polyester, polyacrylate, and machinery like water jet weaving looms and open-end spinning machines took place and this process of innovation and improvement is still in continuation. In the area of weaving, the speed of weft insertion was increased further. A new technology is open shed weaving, which allows one to add additional patterns or to reinforce a woven fabric in certain spots for technical applications. If you really find this video helpful and informative, like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.